Well, hi, as you can see, I'm at the Autumn Towers. My makeup's halfway down my cheek. I've managed to spend five hours in the water park, which was lovely, and now I'm going in on Pirate Room. So I'm going to try and put loads of shots together. And... Hello, and welcome to this vlog. And it's about the two different types of rooms at Alton Towers. We went the same week this year and last year, just heading towards the back of August. So this is hot off the press. We've been there less than two weeks ago, but you'll notice that we change age and shape during this vlog. If you are new here, then I will introduce myself. My name is Kay from Slay Light Bouquet. We had such a brilliant time and we travelled just at the end of August. So here we are at our room, 1237, and this is the key to your stay. So we've got two keys printed out from reception and the room is adorned with extra little bits and pieces. I think there was a little rat crawling up as well. Um, this is based on a total pirate theme, marauders and mutiny bay. So as we go in on the right, there is the bathroom. I think I go into this first. I'm just having a look at the back. There's hotel information here about switchboard and Wi-Fi, which was really easy to use, but it did keep cutting out. Family facilities like the fridge, microwave and washing machine. We didn't use these. Didn't need the baby facilities cash points. Checkout was at 10 a.m. the next day. You just kind of wandered out. You didn't need anything. Just make sure you left by 10. Um, and then there's the map for the Splash Landings Hotel. As you go through, this is the bathroom, very ornate mirror, beautiful ceiling going on here, even the ceiling totally themed, and this bathroom was excellent, it was so superb looking. Loads of towels, there's some sanitary bags going on there, and um, the toilet looked brand new, I don't know if these have been recently refurbished, and um, they'd left out some soaps and some body wash, we didn't use these. Um, and I was trying to find out what brand they were, but I just couldn't read them because I didn't have my glasses on. So that was just a tough look, really. Um, and I'm really trying hard to be the more loving seeds at Sea Kelp. I have to like widen it up, but I'll put it in the subtitles if I can find it. But we never used them. These lamps were themed all the way through. There's me, hi, yeah. Um, and the mirror was great, actually. There wasn't any mirror for close up, but there was some shaving ports and also there's glasses a bin and I found all the toilet rolls this is where all the COVID toilet rolls are we had five toilet rolls for a one night stay which I thought was totally plenty there's hooks on the back of the door and it's one of those where you leave your towels in the bath if you want them changed over they do do a daily service we were only stopping the one night but this shower was absolutely brilliant so they have these wet white walls and the shower was also above the tub and the tub worked excellent with the um, plug as well and it was a partial shower screen so apart from making myself very dizzy with this video i really liked the bathroom um, and all four of us were in and out of it with plenty of hot water so here we come back into the room so we've got thermostatic control not that i totally used this we did find the room a little bit hot we stayed at the end of august um, and the light for the bathroom was also here as well. The amount of light that was in the room, well let's just say it was pirate themed, so that's what happened there. So you have to solve this riddle to find hidden treasures. There are numbers um, around the room and they lead to a combination lock and I'm not going to give that away because if you're staying here then you want to uh, you want to of course be able to solve these riddles yourself. There's a handy hook here and it actually had some keys underneath. I don't think it was meant to be for hanging up your coat, Andy, but never mind. So as you can see, it was meant to look like you're under the first deck of a ship. It was just, even the ceiling is themed. It's absolutely amazing. And this mirror is wicked. So this is the mirror above the um, dressing table. And you turn the mirror on and look at that. Oh my gosh, it shocked me at first. Um, but the kids, they're there going, what's that? <laughs> you can see they're actually play, playing the PS4 and it came with a game so that was um, really handy for them because it kept them wildly entertained uh, there's also two plugs at the side of this mirror that you can see and the kettle looked to be brand new the coffee was good the tea was good didn't mind it and one little bit thank you very much we've just already made ourselves very much at home as you can see um, they gave little cards that had 
um, had readers on them so that you could see what was going on around the hotel. So bring your QR reader if you need to. And this little nook is our dressing area. So it has a mirror. I did eventually find the light from the mirror. It's just a leaf. There's another rat leaving the sinking ship, probably pointing to a clue. There's an iron and iron board. There's also duvet and pillows. I hear all the stuff. Well kitted out, as you can see here, two bumps can come back. You see how I just need to open the TV, but we're so cool. So bed wise, this room actually sleeps six people, there's only four of us in this room, so the sofa you can see can be brought out and we actually found the extra bedding fridge and wardrobe nook. You can see we've made ourselves completely at home. I'm not quite sure why we've put the deodorant into the treasure box. But as we go around the room you may see a couple of the numbers on the wall. These are part of the clues so maybe just don't tell your children. And um, so as you go past the blackout blind you can see there's even more theme in here. And this little television is actually closed up in a cupboard so that you can't see it. Um, <laughs> and uh, Jen's decided that she can't work the curtains. They're just simple blinds, but they are blackout blinds, actually. There wasn't any light coming into this room. In fact, if you want to read in the evening, I would suggest bringing along a little USB chargeable night light or reading light just to help you out. And as we went around the room, the brightest lights were actually by the side of the double bed, which is there. It's just a standard double. Um, it was really comfortable actually, in the road, though the room was a little bit hot and um, the drapery around the back looked to be recently cleaned. In fact, everything was really clean. This is me trying to work out if this does something. I'm not sure whether it was meant to or not, but I didn't want to break it, so I just left it alone. So the room does come with balloons. I'm not quite sure why, but Alex insisted on taking these home and these little lights everything was just themed so well um, and they worked really well and um, so they're just enough to stop you stubbing your toe as you walk into your bed The children really like the game here and it was adventure time. It was theirs to keep but we don't have a PS4 so they just left it there. But they managed to complete most of it before we left. There's Jen finding herself one of the clues even though it was already open by this point and she really wanted to show me that the theming continued into her sp bed space as well. So we had Jen on the top and Alex on the bottom and there was a little creature um, hiding somewhere in here which at first I think I had a lot of difficulty seeing I wasn't quite sure what they were looking at and there it is sitting up in the corner looking down so they seem to sleep soundly in their beds so you can see in this shot that how um, well these curtains work at night this is taken at night and you can see there's no extra light coming into the room and here I've grabbed a picture of that absolutely phenomenal mirror So I'm just going to do a final pan around the room and as you can see we're all enthralled, all tucked into our um, social media, telly, crisps um, and we really did have a lovely stay and now I'm just going to flip back in time. A year ago we stayed in a beach coma room so the next thing you'll see I'll be transported back in time when I had a better waistline. <laughs> Lifts are cool. One, two. One, two. Um, um, oh, do you need a thingy to get in it? Oh, yeah. There you go. We got it. Need a card to get in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> like the artwork, very castaway key. Yeah. I even like the lanterns, they're quite cute. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Ha ha ha. Oh. Let's 
Dan gaan we knippen. Oeh. Kijk wow. Look at the bathroom! Oh, it's so much more theming than the animal. Oh, it is, isn't it? There's a lot more theming in here. Look at the bathroom! Oh, that's so cool! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Slowly. I don't want to make people on YouTube dizzy. Yeah, like you said, it's a smaller room, but the theming is better, isn't it? <laughs> so, just need a change of sheets to take. Well, that's a laundry mark, not a mark. <laughs> Look at the fun. And it works. Check the telly works. Have we got a safe knocking around, Jenny? Um, Let's have a look, see if we've got a view. Oh, we have a pathway, we don't have a bad view. Tell you what. Do not have a safe, no? Well, I can't really check it works if we haven't got one. <laughs> what is this? I think that puts the bed up. It's cute, I like it. Hey, this can fall down into one bit so I can take this and squish out. There's no like seating area. What's this? Oh, it's like a tea and coffee pack. Hey. It's got biscuits in it. <laughs> cool. In room dining. And oh, let's just take a little. Yeah, that, and then people can pause it if they want to pause it. Now the Pringles are cheaper here. Are they? Yeah. £1.50. In room dining for cocktails, now you're talking. Challenge 25, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. We have plugs. No USB. Is there a phone in this room? There's a USB. Oh, there's a phone. Look. <laughs> hey, I can this Reminds me of that Murder in Paradise program. It does. I've been watching that. <laughs> I've been watching that on the way to No the USBs that I can see, but the world is not born on USBs. I like the carpet. The it's got, here. At least I can't accuse you of putting footprints on the carpet, Jenny. Yeah. Oh, is there a USB there? Yeah, there's a USB here. Ah, cool. Excellent. I'm going to do the bounce test. <laughs> this oh. artwork's all right. How's the bounce test going? Uh, I'm not really that bad. Uh. <laughs> I'm sick. I did that. That's a really good way to do shutters, actually, isn't it? To get the shutter look. Yeah. They're actually shut. I mean, just... I like it so like that. I can just imagine a turtle across here. Let me, let me check. Now, just for you guys, I thought I'd put in some bonus footage of breakfast the next day. Um, in front of the jungle, it's very nice and included in both green prices. Get. You're gonna get some cereals. Come on, huh? There's sausages, there's pancakes, there's cereals. Come on. You got a sunburn on your nose from not being in the sun at all. If you want the cereals, they're there. Underneath your eye, a bit of windburn. Oh look what they've got, they've got loads of milk and they've got some soya milk and they've got some almond milk as well. That's really good. This bags of help can remind me of school. Uh, oranges, there's pancakes and then you go around there. What would you like? Yeah. 
Okay. You're gonna have a pancake, right? So wait behind this lady. Come here. That little man is wearing his Avengers suit. Right, so grab hold of one of them plates and then take as many pancakes as you want. And then there's chocolate sauce, strawberry sauce and uh, syrup. Or there's Nutella. What do you want? You'll decide, will you? And as you see the last of this coffee being poured out, it's time for me to say goodbye until our next vlog when I have our next trip planned. Thank you so much for watching and make sure that you watch another one of our vlogs, particularly the Splash Landings one.